What's going on everybody? Welcome back. It's Brian with Equipment World and we are here at Con Expo 2023 and we are at the pre not booth and I'm here with Eric Fatal. Tell me a bit about yourself and what's your role? So I'm the product manager for the pre not Panther lineup. We've got seven models. So I basically am the guy who goes out and talks to the customers, talks to the dealers. We get you know input on, on our next gen products or, or products we have now that we want to actually update and make better. And, well, let's get into it because from what I understand, this is a completely redesigned cab that is that is brand new to you guys. Absolutely. So let's start walking through what are some of the new features you guys have. So we got a lot of great new features. First thing is your seven inch touchscreen display. And that's bright and crisp. Absolutely. Very easy to use and navigate. It's got a great camera mode. So if you press on the camera mode, you get your right side camera and rear view camera at the same time. Yeah. And then easy to get, you see all your important information right yeah. in the middle of the screen, even while your camera's on. Yeah. So you see your RPMs, what gear you're in, your your side to side and your front, front to, back to back tilt. tilt. Yeah. So very easy. Another really nice feature is we've got a very robust new steering column. It's got a really nice premium feel. So your lights and window washers and your horn, all that on one side. Okay very easy to telescope pull it down get it close to you to make you feel comfortable new joystick design which is very nice so you got your front to back is your dump and back to frame right to left is your rotation for the rotator okay so we make two rotators we have a seven ton rotator and a 14 ton rotator okay okay your return to di return to center is a red button on top of the joystick and then your operator presence is a little switch underneath the joystick okay and so just just to specify I'm angled off, dumping at kind of a funky angle. All I do is I'm going to push this button. And it's going to automatically pivot me back. You're going to you're going to you're going to hit that button, and it's you're going to go you're going to go right or left. Okay. And it's going to beep when you get back to center. Oh, perfect. And then I'm ready to rock. Absolutely. And just to specify, this unit can travel, whether it is in line with the, the tracks or off to the side. Doesn't matter. Beautiful. That's so interesting. What's really nice. So say you're doing dike work, and you're driving out on a very slender dike. You can't turn around. Sure. So you drive out on that dike dump your product, do a, three, do a 360 and go back the other way. Right back so you don't up. have to worry about turning around. And now when I go from driving in this direction to now we're gonna drive in this direction, am I having to worry about my forward reverse? It, it knows what direction you're going. Beautiful. And now, I will say too, like we've got a lot of room in here. Absolutely. This is a very space for having two seats in this cab. And from the outside, it does not look that big, but we've got ample room. This is very comfortable. Yep. So this is our premium seat. It is a heated seat. It automatically adjusts to your weight as soon as you sit in the seat, so you get a good, comfortable ride. Also has ventilation. Um, another nice feature we have is a new sunshade, very robust, nice sunshade. Nice new area to store your cell phone. Big, you can put your keys in there, whatever you need. This pocket here. We also have a awesome. USB A and C cell phone charger. Wow. So right over here. Look at so you guys. So we, we thought about the guys that have the old style and the new style. The new style. You, you, yeah. buy, you buy a new iPhone and it, it doesn't have the old style anymore. Awesome. Cup holder in the back and then a large cup holder in the front. Another nice feature is we have a RAM mount system. So if you had to have a customization of a, set, a third camera or if you needed to put some kind of other control unit there for like a soil stabilizer or a water tank or something like that, you have room for a RAM mount to actually put it right there. Awesome. Storage underneath the, the, the buddy seat here. It's, it's, uh, you can put a little lunch box or some drinks or tools underneath there. Overall, I can't stress enough, this is a really comfortable cab. Like yep. thinking about spending eight to 10 to 14 mm -hmm. hours in this thing, that, that would not be mm -hmm. the worst thing in the world. This Absolutely. is very comfortable. I do like too, a lot of times when cabs have things over above your head, a lot mm -hmm. of times you're really reaching. I do like the fact radio right here, mm -hmm. climate controls right here, not having to lean forward while I'm mm -hmm. trying to drive this thing. It's yep. just all right here for me. It's really nice. Another new feature is we have a nice new uh, footrest, nice new floor cab liner. Extra grip tape here for a good sturdy uh, placement of your foot. Sure. And you're entering and exiting the cab, all your handrails that you're going to touch are pre noth red. Awesome. So you know where you stay to stand where to out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. We got a new closing handle, updated the door. We have a new latch system and, and some grommets to actually, when you, when you are operating with the door open, that door doesn't rattle. Beautiful. Um, Drives an operator nuts. Absolutely. You want absolutely. to go check out the undercarriage? Absolutely. Let's do that. All right. All right, so here we are at the undercarriage, and from what I understand, this is a pretty big selling point for you guys. Yes. So tell me, 
a bit about this because I was walking the show the other day and this stood out to me. This is a robust setup you guys have. Yeah, so one thing we do, we use a proprietary track. It's our track design. No other manufacturers using this same style track. Okay. Um, another thing we do that is totally to, you know, print off design is we use large wheels. Yes, so what these things are massive. What, yeah, what happens here is there's space between the wheels. So you don't get that packing of dirt because you have small wheels along the bottom of the undercarriage. We have a, t a tandem bogey system, so we have two shafts that run through the machine, and it allows those bogies to tra travel up and down. So when you're driving over a washboard or, or a steep incline, when you're driving the machine, you don't have that slam down effect. It actually hugs. It allow basically these bogies allow, and the tandems work together to allow to have that contact on the ground at all times so it gives you better traction yeah it gives you much better off-road capability so instead of coming up and slamming down like you would in an excavator or a dozer you're actually rolling up yep. onto the new slope so uh, because you have that distance between those large wheels the track acts as a suspension interesting so one of the other things I wanted to talk to you about is I am walking around here the other day and, and from a profile standpoint this thing doesn't look like it's gonna hold that much material mm -hmm. but You've got a 15,000 pound capacity on this machine. That's that's not a little number. Yeah, 4.8 cubic yards. So it's a small machine, but high productivity. This machine will fit on small job sites and it will move a large amount of, of, of material. Yeah, that is, man, for us in the dirt world, especially when you're working with really tight site conditions, having that capacity is everything. Exactly, it moves fast, it rotates, it'll get the job done. And, and a, Additional bonus is this is a pretty versatile platform. Can you talk more about that aspect of the machine? Yeah, so basically with the Panther rotator and straight frame machines, they're like a Swiss Army knife. So yeah. we can put concrete mixers, we can put man lifts on them, we can put soil stabilizers, hydro seeders, the, the endless, there's an endless amount of op, you know, opportunities for attachments and implements to go on the back of the machines. And from what I understand, that's because of a, a unique design to you guys. Can we go over to one of your other machines and take a look at that? Absolutely. All right, here we are with Doug Little. He is director of sales with Prenot, and he is here to talk about the kind of unique design that allows these machines to be so versatile. So Doug, can you tell me a little bit about your design here? Yeah, so when we redesigned the line and created the Panther lineup, we went to a completely different chassis design than we used before. We adopted a C-channel truck style chassis frame, exactly the same dimensions as all over the road trucks. Um, and this, the reason was very simple. When you want to mount tools on top of a carrier, the old style chassis were very difficult. A lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of money, and not that attractive to, to customers looking for this option. With a truck style chassis, every tool that can be put on a truck can now be put on tracks and then taken off-road for easy access into job sites. So really what you've done is you've created a platform that allows you to, if you can dream it, you can do it. Yeah, very much so. And, and, and it sounds a little corny, but if you've got any sort of idea, we can make it out. That's awesome. Yeah. So you guys at Prenut, you keep, you keep com coming up with all these tricks out of your sleeve. And, and from what I understand behind this panel, you have yet another trick up your sleeve. What do you got going on back That's here? That's right. So it enable to, to make the life of people wanting to mount other tools onto our chassis. We've done everything we possibly can to make their life simple. So behind here, at the back end of the engine, we have a two port pump drive. Um, and one side of the, the pump drive is used by us for motorization of each side, a left and right uh, motor for the tracks. But the other side, we leave blank. What that does is anybody who wants to can tie the function of the tool into this power pack eliminating the need for a secondary power pack, the cost that goes along with that, the weight and the space that that, that all takes up. And we can do all the hydraulic plumbing for them in advance as long as we have the requirements. And we can do all the electronics that go along with that as well so that it really becomes a plug and play option. You set your, your tool on the back, bolt it into the chassis, hook up your hoses and your wires and you're gone. Wow. So you guys have created a platform that is super versatile you have a really large capacity for a small footprint, and you also provide the power where, where right. as long as we supply the specs, it's almost plug and play. It is. It can be very much plug and play. And we'll even go a step further. If someone wants to give us their requirements as far as setting what they require to set their tool onto the chassis, if they need extra bracing, 
fish plates, extra holes drilled into the sea channels, even doubling the sea channels to make them a little bit more rigid. If we know that before we start the building of the machine, we can provide all that for them in advance and they have no work to do when it gets to their factory. Wow, what an incredibly versatile machine. If you get a chance, absolutely check out Prenut. Thanks guys. Now is a good time to mention that if you want to see more content like this, subscribe and click the bell icon so you can see when we post more videos.